The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it was going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past and the Champions League has really taken shape. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. And beginning the game up front today, Anthony Martial. Thank you, old chap. And the PSG team looks like this. Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Neymar starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes on to Mata Juan Bisaka moving the ball forward with purpose Scott McTominay Fred well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Danilo Pereira Here's Mbappe, Icardi, and it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Martial. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in. Then, quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going. In the book. Into the box it goes. Not the best clearance. Martial. And here's Fred. Oh, surely. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt.
And PSG get the ball moving again. How will they respond? Number nine, Anthony Martial. Danilo Pereira. Lorenzi. Marquinhos. And he's given it away. Kurzawa. Mbappe. Kurzawa. Can he play it in? But dealt with efficiently. Kurzawa. And Neymar. Danilo Pereira. Now Verratti. Well, nothing productive, really. No nonsense clearance. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. And space to cross it. Martial. McTominay. Great block. Neymar Neymar thrives on running at defenders and the advantage is with PSG big chance to get them on terms making sure nothing untoward happened superb tackle Verratti and he got on his bicycle and pedaled furiously to good effect close but no cigar what an effort that was Bruno Fernandes. And a throw in it's going to be. Florenzi. Di Maria now. PSG looking dangerous. And the ball's gone. And that will be the keeper's ball. Martial. And a no-nonsense clearance. Juan Mata. And here's Fred. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Can he take the chance? Has someone to play it to? Well, they couldn't keep it. Rashford. Well, no danger now. And tidily played. And that is offside. <laughs> Martial. Fred. On to Mata. Juan Bisaka. McTominay. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Rashford unable to hold it.
Danilo Pereira. Neymar. Neymar. Di Maria. And Neymar. Neymar! It's gone in. A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well, it's good build-up, and there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Paul Paul Number 10, Neymar. Fred. Scott McTominay. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. In position here to protect the ball. Juan Bisaka. Juan Mata. Aaron Juan Bisaka. On to Mata. Juan Bisaka. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And out of play for a Paris Saint Germain throw in. And unable to keep possession. Scott McTominay. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Kurzawa. And he read it well. Bruno Fernandes. On to Juan Bissaka. Scott McTominay. And running it back. Juan Mata. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Real authority in the challenge from Danilo Pereira. Counter attacking, very much an option. Danilo Pereira. Mauro Icardi here. And he read it well. Icardi. Shaw. Maguire. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Excellent first half from Neymar in this game, Lee. Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out.
And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Danilo Pereira. Played forward over the top, intended for Di Maria. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Di Maria. Florenzi. Mauro Icardi here. Here's Mbappe. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Throw in here for PSG. Neymar. And space for the cross. Kurzawa. Now Verratti. Kurzawa. Icardi at the ready and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately Fred all the way through to the keeper then and they'll get ready for the throw in off the pitch. Substitution it is for PSG. Coming onto the pitch, number 27, Idrissa Gan. Florenzi. And now Danilo Pereira. It's with Florenzi. And now Gay. Danilo Pereira. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Juan Bisaka. Anthony Martial. Fred. Well, far from textbook defending. Bruno Fernandes. And it's in! The back and front. Stunning scenes here. Here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. PSG chasing this game. Let's see if they can succeed on that front. Half an hour remaining then. Florenzi is with Paredes. Paredes is with Florenzi. Di Maria. Now, let's see what they can do here. Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. 
it will go down as an own goal. Well, let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Scott McTominay. And Martial. They've lost it. Manchester United throw in here. Substitution it is for PSG. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Able to get his body in the way. Bruno Fernandes. Icardi. Not a bad pass it was. And fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. So 20 minutes to go. Well, attacking possibilities. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Here's a change for Manchester United. Martial. Here is Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Maguire. Matic on the ball. Anthony Martial. Oh, nice ball over the top. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Rashford Bruno Fernandes has it dangerous looking through ball could it be he's gone and found the net brilliant piece of finishing magnificent goal well as we see again here it's a beauty of a ball over the top and he chooses to use power in the finish not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Kimpembe. With the noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking and the cap, Lee Dixon? United players have to stay focused on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. 
Shot out by Kimpembe. PSG chasing this game. They're not out of it. Lorenzi. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Paredes. Oh, that's a fine pass. Lorenzi. Gay. No nonsense clearance. And teammates to play it to. Di Maria. Neymar waiting to pounce. Well, no problems defensively. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. Gay. Getting forward. What can he do from here? It's Kimpembe now. Here's Marquinhos. Paredes, Lorenzi on the ball, crossing opportunity, he's going forward well here, that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him, And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Mbappe, excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Strength and control, a big part of his game. PSG simply must be opportunistic with time not on their side. And it's United's turn now. Martial. Potentially freedom for United on the flank. And he might be through here. Oh, a vital interception. Must be. Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked, rightly punished, schoolboy stuff. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Saint-Germain have work to do already. Where did it all go wrong for PSG? It's a poor start to their Champions League season. It's not a disaster, it's only game one. You can't afford any more slip-ups. That result will eat away at the players until game two comes along. Well, a strong contribution, as we've come to expect from Bruno Fernandes. Lee, interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.